If you're an incredulous kind of person, then you may struggle with what I'm about to reveal to you. These are some reptiles that may or not be kind of unusual. It may be difficult for you to believe they exist, but I'm going to give you every chance to try. I also hope to not model up our turtles and tortoises, but if something slips through, be sure to let me know, won't you? From a tortoise who's lived in three different centuries to a turtle who wears her heart on the outside, here are 20 turtles and tortoises you won't believe actually exist. Number 20. Galapagos Tortoise now I know, I know, these magnificent animals are not turtles, they're tortoises. It's an important differentiation to make, and we should stand firm against this wrong naming stuff. So again, these are tortoises and not turtles. These big guys are called Galapagos tortoises on account of their huge shell. The word is Spanish for saddleback. So the tortoises are what name the islands. Or maybe that was all the colonialism, who can really say? Anyways, these incredibly big big animals can weigh up to 700 pounds, even though they only eat a vegetarian diet of grasses, fruits, and plants. And perhaps the thing that most people know about tortoises is that they live long lives. That's certainly true of the Galapagos tortoise. They can live for at least 150 years, and this is made possible by the fact that they have no natural predators when they're grown beyond about a year old. That and the fact that they can go for long periods of time without any food or water. In fact, the main risk to these amazing animals is actually human behavior. They used to be hunted for their meat and shells, and in the present day, the destruction of their habitats and over-tourism has contributed to a decline in their numbers. But these gentle giants have to be one of the most amazing examples of a massive animal and, oh, aren't they just too adorable? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Greek Tortoises the Greek tortoise actually comes from a wide region across North Africa, Southwest Asia, and Southern Europe. They can be found in various types of habitats from arid rocky hillsides and scrublands all the way through to forests, meadows, and fields. These awesome creatures are often kept as pets, but if you decide that you want to take one home, be prepared for it to outlive you. Greek tortoises often live for more than 125 years, and there are even reports that some of these animals may have made it to 200 years old. Also known as the spur-thighed tortoise, Greek tortoises are generally around 10 inches long by the time they reach adulthood. They have a shell which is usually somewhere between tan to yellow in color with dark brown and black markings. And many of them go by the name of Toby. Well, all the ones that I've met have, anyway. Have you ever met a tortoise? And how did that go for you? I hope you didn't get them confused for a turtle, because they hate that. Number 18. Chinese Softshell Turtle are you still with me or have you fainted from disbelief at the existence of these turtles? I know, I know, it's getting all to be a bit much for me as well. Also known as Cantor's softshell turtle or the Asian softshell turtle, this freshwater species has a broad head and small eyes that are positioned really near the tip of their snout. Their shells are smooth and olive in color, and juveniles of the species may have spotty heads and shells because, you know, acne is a teenage affliction even in reptiles, it would seem. There are all kinds of rumors about the size of these animals and how big they can grow. But the actual data is surprisingly thin on the ground. Despite the stories of turtles growing over six feet long, the longest one on record is less than four and a half feet. But they can get kind of heavy, weighing anywhere up to 220 pounds. They spend about 95% of their lives half buried in sandy or muddy bottoms of rivers and lakes, only to surface twice a day to take a breath. They're ambush predators and can apparently do a good deal of their hunting of mollusks, fish, and crustaceans from their sedentary position in the sediment. Such a lazy bones. Number 17. Alligator Snapping Turtle 
This crazy looking alligator snapping turtle is like an insane combination of a dinosaur and a pine cone. This creature looks like nothing else on earth, and if you happened upon one by surprise, you may indeed feel compelled to run away immediately. But try not to panic, because sometimes things are not always as scary as they may appear. This is the largest freshwater turtle to be found in North America, and it mostly lurks in rivers, canals, and lakes, and they may have a bit of a reputation as a dangerous sort of animal, but they're unlikely to attack a human unless it's in self-defense. So be nice and try not to disturb them, and hopefully you'll be alright. But if you do happen to encounter an especially cross alligator snapping turtle, then you could be in for a very unpleasant experience. Their bite force is an extremely and extraordinarily powerful 1,000 pounds, which can inflict a bite that will literally snap your bones in half. So watch your step. These turtles like to spend their time submerged and can stay underwater for up to 50 minutes without needing to resurface surface, meaning that they can be hard to spot and you really wouldn't want to accidentally poke your toes into one of these guys' mouths. Number 16. Glowing by Fluorescent Turtle while out filming small sharks around the coral reefs of the Solomon Islands, a group of marine biologists were taken aback to discover a glowing sea turtle swimming past. Now, Before you immediately jump to conclusions about radioactive waste and teenage ninjas and whatnot, this kind of glowing is generally known as biofluorescence and is often seen in marine creatures. But that being said, it is not known in sea turtles, or at least it wasn't until this rare and critically endangered hawksbill sea turtle rocked up and gave scientists a light show. It displayed neon green and red biofluorescence and was captured on film in all of its glowing glory, so all you lucky people can enjoy this extraordinarily unusual sight. This bioglow is different from the bioluminescence that's often reported in deep sea creatures, but it has a similar effect. There are several species of fish, some sharks, rays, and small crustaceans which have this biofluorescent ability, but sadly there are so very few of these hawksbill sea turtles left in the world's oceans that it seems as though there will not be an opportunity to study how and why these particular sea animals do it. Number 15. Jonathan Turtle as of January of 2022, Jonathan the tortoise is the oldest known living land animal in the world, even older than Dick Van Dyke, although I know that seems difficult to believe. Who knew Dick Van Dyke was even still alive? Yes, Jonathan is actually believed to be 190 years old, so he is cracking on a bit, but he doesn't look a day over 150. This giant tortoise lives on the grounds of a plantation house on the island of St. Helena, and this is the governor's official residence, so Jonathan is actually a symbol of the island, and his image even appears on St. Helena's five pence coin. This old guy shares his space with three other tortoises. Their names are equally improbable, being David, Emma, and Fred, because of course they are. So Jonathan was believed to have been taken to St. Helena when he was already fully grown and probably about 50 years old, and that was way back in 1882. For Pete's sake, this is all kind of mind-boggling, isn't it? I mean, this chap is in photographs from that very year, and he's still wandering around to this day. Just think of all the things that have happened in his lifetime. In 1882, for example, Old West outlaw Jesse James was shot and killed, Thomas Edison was inventing Christmas lights, and future President FDR would be born. So that puts this timeline in context just a teeny little bit. Number 14. Painted Turtle now here's a terrapin that likes to dress up to attract a mate. There's something to be said for taking pride in one's appearance, and this is something that these unique terrapins really embody. But only during mating season. The rest of the year they can be found in the turtle equivalent of old brown sweatpants while they lounge around on the couch all day. 
That's right, the painted terrapin is dull in appearance for most of the year, but when mating season comes around, this dapper dresser slings on their best outfit and heads out in search of some action. They have a distinctive vivid coloration that only appears when they're getting prepared to do the deed. The male's head becomes more pale and develops a bright red stripe between the eyes. The female's coloration changes as well, but in a slightly less extreme manner with their heads just becoming becoming kind of more red during the season. At least everyone's making an effort to put on their best party outfits though. That's pretty nice. Number 13. Mary River Turtle the Mary River Turtle is a species of water-dwelling reptile from the Mary River in Queensland, Australia. I see what they did there with the name. That's pretty genius. But that's actually this turtle's most boring of all names. This guy also goes by the decidedly more interesting moniker of Pink Turtle and the utterly hilarious Bum-Breathing Turtle. The mind does boggle. These turtles are in trouble, and not just on the account of their punk attitude either. They're exceptionally slow to reach maturity, and it can take anywhere between 25 to 30 years for the Mary River turtle to reach adulthood, and this has some obvious repercussions on the whole breeding situation. When you add this slow coach approach to development to the fact that these creatures went through a phase of being popular as a choice of pet for people in the 1960s and 70s, then it suddenly becomes glaringly obvious why their numbers are now dwindling to a dangerous low. In fact, the numbers of Mary River turtles have decreased by a staggering 95% in the last 50 years. These unique bum breathers, that name should be obvious, are now so troubled that they're listed as endangered, and there are campaigns to try and resurrect the species before it's gone for good. And do you really want to be in a world without a bum-breathing turtle in it? Number 12. Big-Headed Turtle this poor old turtle has a name that really means he can never escape from the feature that he's been trying to downplay. He's got a massive head, but it's kind of rude to keep going on about it. The big-headed turtle, seriously, it's not at all a polite name, has a head that is in fact disproportionately large in comparison with the rest of its body. This guy's head is actually too big to be retracted into its shell for safety, so it has to have another form of defense to keep a would-be predator from simply going to town on its big tasty turtle meat head. It has weird plates of armor on the top and sides of its head, and an especially solid bony skull to add an extra protective layer for its big old brain. These guys also seem to have been blessed with extra long tails, so lucky them. They're not very efficient swimmers, but they are very effective climbers as they have strong claws and can even use their beak to grip a hold of rocks when they're in fast flowing water. Sadly, this completely unique species is currently listed as endangered by the IUCN Red List, so they could really do with a bit more luck for the future. Number 11 radiated tortoise. This native of Madagascar is considered to be one of the world's most beautiful tortoises. No, I don't know about you, but I think all tortoises are beautiful, but this is an especially pretty variety on the account of its shell patterns and colorings. But the thing that we should all be most excited about here are those baby tortoises. Oh my goodness, did you ever in your whole life see anything so incredibly cute and beautiful as these teeny weeny babies? Well, perhaps my pet guinea pig twinkle, but she's not a turtle or a tortoise. After these intense cuteness sessions, it's more or less impossible to go back to looking at regular grown-up sized tortoises, even if they are absolute stunners like these radiated tortoise chaps. But here we go. The radiated tortoise has yellow skin on their head and legs, which matches the brilliant yellow star-shaped markings on their shells. This patterning is much more detailed and intricate than that of many other tortoise species. These guys can grow to be around 16 inches long, and that is, of course, measuring the shell, and they can weigh as much as 35 pounds. In the wild, they're only found in the extreme south of the island of Madagascar, but they've been introduced to the nearby island of Reunion in recent years, all in an attempt to bolster their numbers. They live in dry bushlands, thorn forests, and woodlands. Number 10. 
The Mata Mata Turtle The Mata Mata Turtle is a resident of South America. It's an unusual looking sort of creature with an especially knobby shell and large flat head with a wide mouth and long snout. The Mata Mata's shell is what makes this chap stand out from the crowd. It's large and gnarly with big spherical cone-shaped nobbles poking out of it. The poor old turtle is no oil painting. Its neck is flat and wide, covered in warts and bumpy skin, and it has a triangular-shaped squashed head and a long snout that it uses as a snorkel. They have eyes on the sides of their weird heads, but they also have very poor vision. using instead their fleshy flaps on the sides of their heads to sense movements in the water. They can feel vibrations that may warn them of a predator nearby, and they also have extremely sensitive hearing. Number 9. Loggerhead Sea Turtle the loggerhead sea turtle is named for its chunky head, obviously. These are the most commonly found turtles in the coastal waters of the United States, and the big bulky loggerhead has powerful jaws that they use for eating prey that comes in hard shells, and adult loggerheads will need to eat a whole lot. These extraordinary creatures can reach a weight of about 400 pounds, but baby loggerhead turtle hatchlings are so dinky that they can weigh as little as an ounce. The sea turtle hatch out of their eggs that have been safely buried in the sand, and they all begin to clamber out of their hole and instinctively head in the direction of the Atlantic Ocean. It is a long way to the water when you have such tiny little legs, and it takes time and the journey is fraught with dangers. But they do look so cute as they go, all tumbling and scrambling along, heading straight towards the water. Oh, it's so sweet. I do hope that they make it. Interestingly, when baby loggerhead sea turtles hatch out of their eggs on the beach and then make their fast and furious clamber across the sand towards the sea, it's the last that anyone will ever see of them for the next 7 to 10 years. It does sound crazy, but scientists really don't know what these marine reptiles get up to for all those years of their adolescence, so finding this all rather dissatisfying, the nosy scientists needed to find a way to poke about in the turtle's business after they hatch and before they turn up again all those years later. Hopefully it's not like human adolescence, or that's going to involve a lot of watching these turtles sulking in their bedrooms and sleeping. Number 8. Janus, the Two-Headed Turtle Being born with two heads is often a really big problem for many types of animals. In fact, the likelihood of staying alive is pretty remote under these unusual and difficult circumstances. But there is one such tortoise that has defied all those negative expectations. Janus is a Greek tortoise, but rather than the requisite number of heads, Janus was born with two whole separate heads on his regular tortoisey body. The remarkable tortoise was born at the Museum of Natural History in Geneva. Geneva, Switzerland back in 1997, and soon became the star attraction, and also the museum's mascot. Not only is Janus an unusual tortoise, but he's also the oldest animal with two heads in the whole wide world. He's now heading towards a quarter century and seems to be going strong. If he has a life expectancy similar to other Greek tortoises in captivity, then he'll likely live to at least 50 years old, and possibly up to 120 years old. Because he's completely unique and two-headed animals rarely survive for any length of time at all, Janus is a mystery and continues to delight and surprise everyone who meets him. Number 7. The Pancake Tortoise Funnily enough, the African pancake tortoise has a thin, flat shell. I mean, who could have guessed it? And yes, this is a tortoise and not a turtle. Tortoises live on land. Turtles live in the water. Don't muddle them up, please. Tortoises can't swim. That's the end of your public service announcement. Because they're easier to eat than other species of tortoise, these animals must use different skills in order to evade predators. They only grow to be about 7 inches, but are faster than most tortoises, and are also much more flexible, which can allow them to escape capture. They're well adapted to their environment, and their shells provide them with pretty decent camouflage. These 
flat little guys are native to East Africa and can be found in Zimbabwe, Tanzania, and Kenya, where they mostly hang around in rocky hills and savanna areas. They're mostly solitary animals, but may occasionally be found in small groups or pairs living in the crevices of rocky hillsides. The African pancake tortoise eats a diet of vegetation and dry grasses, especially succulents. Their diet may also include nuts, seeds, and occasionally they're known to nibble on insects. Number 6. Pig Nose Turtle these turtles really do have pig noses, or maybe we're looking at it all wrong and pigs actually have turtle noses. Who can say? Also known as the Fly River Turtle, these creatures have four legs that are like flippers that they use to propel themselves through the water, and they can actually create a surprisingly powerful forward motion, which is their best defense against predators. Their hind legs are used as a kind of rudder, which helps these turtles move efficiently through the water and hopefully out of harm. Way. The other most obvious feature is the aforementioned pig nose of these reptiles. This is a large and fleshy snout on the front of its unique head, and the snout is apparently what allows the turtle to breathe when it's at the surface of the water while being able to keep the rest of its body submerged and away from the dangers of being spotted by potential predators. These remarkable animals are also able to absorb oxygen from the water when it's beneath the surface. Number 5. Eastern Snake-Necked Turtle the name of this turtle is a giveaway, but they really do have a very, very long snake-like neck, don't they? Naming this reptile was a bit of a no-brainer. They're also known as Australian snake-necked turtles, long-necked turtles, and eastern long-necked turtles. But the defining feature is always apparent, whatever these creatures happen to be called. Residing in marshy and swampy habitats in Australia, these turtles are semi-aquatic. They do prefer to spend the majority of their time deep in the water, but they can also be seen warming themselves on logs and stones in the sunshine. These turtles are occasionally known by a less than flattering nickname, Stinker. This is apparently on the account of a particularly whiffy substance that eastern snake neck turtles are able to produce, and this smelly stuff is given off through their musk glands, and they tend to be triggered when they feel stressed or frightened. This is usually when dopey people go and poke them, so if you do go around around prodding turtles all willy-nilly, well, you have been warned. They may stink you right up and it won't be pleasant. Number 4. Turtle Born with Exposed Heart as if being born an albino turtle wasn't unusual enough, this little baby was also brought into the world with an exposed heart. This life-threatening condition is known as ectopic cords in humans, but it has no name in animals because most would generally not be expected to survive this serious issue. However, the baby turtle named Hope by her owner, Michael, is apparently growing stronger every day. She currently lives in New Jersey with Michael, where he plans to give her the happiest and longest life possible, despite the odds that are working against her. Well, good luck to them, and fingers crossed for hope for the future. Number 3. Leopard Tortoise one of the signature animals of the African savanna, the leopard tortoise is well adapted to the arid conditions of this part of central and southern Africa. They tend to be most active in the early hours of the morning, and again just before the sun sets. They're sensible creatures that seek shade during the hottest parts of the day. As the saying goes, only mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. In fairness though, the English sun is generally obscured by heavy cloud cover and a generalized drizzle. The leopard tortoise is a rather beautiful animal, but their pattern and coloring is designed not to be seen. This pale yellow shell with black patterns is a clever camouflage that helps these reptiles to blend in really effectively with their natural habitat. This is part of what makes this species one of the most successful of the entire savanna region. Leopard tortoises have very few natural predators, despite being easy to catch because of their speed or lack thereof. 
These tortoises have the instant defense mechanism of being able to pull their entire body inside of their hard and virtually impregnable shell. This is basically really off-putting to most would-be predators and is simply not deemed worth the hassle of cracking that open to get at the meager pickings inside, which is just as well really, or tortoises would never have made it at all, let alone be the longest lived of all of our land animals. Number 2. African Helmeted Turtle The African Helmeted Turtle goes by many names, the Marsh Terrapin, the Crocodile Turtle, the African Side Neck Turtle, and of course, the African Helmeted Turtle. Why it needs so many aliases is anyone's guess, but for some reason, this species has more monikers than an international spy. It is a relatively small species, they only reach around 8 inches in length when they're fully grown, but it doesn't stop the African Helmeted Turtle from smiling. That's right, these turtles have a lovely, broadly smiling expression, making them the friendly and most approachable of all reptiles. Actually, don't take my word for that. Even if someone or something seems to be smiling, you should never accept candy from them. That includes turtles. This turtle lives for the most part in much of the African continent. It can be found from Ghana in the west to South Africa, from Sudan to the Cape Peninsula. These turtles are another species that prefer some lovely stagnant standing water like a swamp or a rain pool, marshes and lakes, but they do also sometimes live beside flowing rivers. And even though they may look friendly, these guys kind of hate other turtles and get pretty fighty if they find themselves getting too close to other species. The African helmeted turtle does not play well with others. Number 1. Yellow Blotched Map Turtles Yes, here is yet another freshwater turtle. Can you believe that this one exists? Is it getting easier to believe yet? Or do you need more evidence? The yellow blotched map turtle is a medium-sized turtle with a light brown shell that has a bright yellow or orange blotch pattern hence the name, of course. The males of the species sport fancier, long manicured nails on their front feet, just like a posh lady. Well, they are turtles, so they are technically claws, and they probably don't get them done at a salon, but it is fun to imagine. These turtles do spend a good deal of the day warming themselves by basking in the sun. It's all right for some now, isn't it? Their preferred sunbathing spot is on a fallen tree in the water so that they're able to quickly leap in for safety if they sense any kind of danger approaching. It is very sensible, and if they are approached by humans and don't leap away in time, then the males will withdraw into their shells until you stop bugging them. But the females, well, they'll just bite you. Also very sensible. So don't go poking around turtles, because that's just rude. Well, I simply just absolutely cannot believe it, can you? These turtles do actually exist. We're not pulling your leg, and for once, these are not a load of silly Photoshop pictures. These turtles actually do exist, and it's time to get over it. So which of these tortoises or turtles were you into? Would you ever have one as a pet? And if so, would you call it Toby? As always, let's get into a jolly discussion in the comments down below, because I really hope that I managed to match up the video of turtles with turtles and tortoises with tortoises, but you never know. I'm sure you'll help me out with that if I got it wrong. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.